students welcome to class 9 computer applications so the chapter that we are going to discuss today is cyber safety and this is the part 3 of this particular chapter I hope you have watched the previous parts of this series if not you can always go and check out the links are given in the description so today's topic of discussion is all about passwords so let's begin with what is a password so a password is a type of authentication mechanism using which an user can be authenticated so with the concept of password it can be ensured that you are the right person to access the account let's say you have nowadays you have accounts in various social media portals like facebook instagram so now while logging in into your instagram account or facebook account you have two things one is the user id and the other is the password user id can be shared with your friends but password should not be shared with anyone why because it is a type of authentication mechanism with the help of password it can be ensured that you are the right person to access that particular account so can you access your friend's account no you will not able to access your friend's account because you do not know the password of your friend okay so with the help of this a user can be authenticated it is a very important form of protection mechanism so with the concept of passwords a user can be protected so that it ensures that only the right person is able to access a particular account it gives access to an user account you already know this if you want to access an user account you need to know the user id and specifically the password of that particular account if you do not know the password then you will not be able to access it and the last point is since it's a very precious entity therefore it is necessary to keep it safe and secure yes this is a very very important point it should be kept safe and secure so that any other persons any unauthorized person do not come to know about your password now let us go to the importance of passwords why are passwords important passwords are important because of the following reasons first is it helps in keeping personal information safe so with the help of the concept of password personal information since only you can access your information so your personal information will be safe with the help of passwords next point is it protects emails files and other contents from contents from unauthorized access so when you have so we'll, so all of you have an email account can anyone else access your email account no it cannot anyone else cannot access your email account because they do not know your password and therefore your email account is protected similarly let's say you use google drive no one else can access your files because while entering google drive you need to give your password next is it prevents unauthorized users from breaking into your account okay so with the if had password not been there so anyone else would have come to your profile and made changes but this is not the case because passwords helps in keeping your personal information safe let's go to do, to, to some of the password cracking strategies that are done by unauthorized persons so first is password guessing next is brute force attack third is data breach and fourth is key lockers let's start with password guessing so password guessing is a simple mechanism so some people who are desperately trying to get access to your account may be able to guess your password so if you keep a very simple password let's say your name is raj so if you just keep your password as raj only then it will be very easy for your friends and other persons to guess your pa password so basically what an intruder does what an unauthorized person does he at first uses this strategy called password guessing so he will he or she will at first put your phone number or your best friend's name or your name and then try to crack the password okay so always remember you should not keep very simple passwords 
password recovery options may be used to reset the passwords using techniques of social engineering see this is a very important thing so when you register for an account there is an uh, option that you are asked certain questions like what was your first school what is your favorite book what is your favorite cartoon characters and so on while filling up those information you should be very careful as to what you give don't choose common questions and don't give common answers why it is so let's say someone wants to crack your password so what he or she can do he can click on the option of forgot password see you will see in various portals whenever you try to log into their portals there is an option called forgot password so if an unauthorized person clicks on the forgot password he can use the password recovery tools and one of the tool is that some certain questions related to your life will be asked which you have filled up while registering and the intruder may know you and if those are certain common questions like what is the name of your school then your password will be easily crackable okay so you should be very careful while setting the questions for the recovery options second strategy is brute force attack now what is the meaning of brute force attack so in this type of attack this type of attack it works systematically by trying all possible combinations until the correct one is found let's say the password of your account is let's say raj okay not this let's say the password of this your account is small r a j so for cracking this password what an unauthorized person may do the unauthorized person may use the brute force attack what brute force attack does it checks all the possible combinations so here we have given only small letter alphabets so for cracking your password it will be very very easier because he just he or she just needs to check all the possible combinations that are possible using the small letter alphabets but let's say you give the password as r a j then it will be a little bit difficult for him to crack because now he has to check all the possible combinations with small letters also and with capital letter also okay so you should keep your password very strong i'll come to the rules which should be followed while selecting a password hence the rules to choose good password must be remembered while choosing a password after some time i'll be discussing the rules which should be kept in mind while choosing a good password you should always always keep those rules in mind while choosing a password otherwise you may be a victim of brute force attack next is the data breach now what is a data breach with in this technique the attacker will not hack your profile directly so what an attacker will do so let's say you have an account in facebook and let's say the hacker what he or she can do he or she can hack the facebook database so if the hacker hacks the facebook database then all your information will also be leaked and therefore your personal data may be compromised so data breach refers to the leakage of personal data of various users when a portal is hacked okay recently the famous portal unacademy was hacked by some intruders and therefore the data of all its users are compromised so it might involve the loss or theft of your personal data bank account or credit card numbers personal health information passwords or email a data breach can be intentional or accidental okay so let's say a particular bank database is hacked so let's say you have an account with state bank of india and the state bank of india's database is hacked now what will happen the intruder will be able to know your bank balance your account number and maybe with the help of certain techniques may also steal your funds okay it depends on what portal is being hacked if facebook is hacked then your pictures will be compromised your status will be com compromised and if a bank account is hacked then your bank account details and your money will be compromised so a data breach it may be accidental due to some 
coding failure or it may be intentional also. Next is the key loggers. So what is the meaning of key loggers? So whenever you type something, let's say you type R A J in your keyboard. So there are certain softwares, these softwares are known as key loggers. So as you type R A J in your keyboard, then what will happen if those softwares are installed, they will be running in the background and they will be noting the keystrokes. And where will those keystrokes be saved? Those keystrokes will be saved in a text file which can be used by the attacker later. So it is a technique wherein an attacker keeps a software that is able to log the keystrokes of an user. Okay, let's say your friend wants to hack your account. So what he or she may do, he or she may install a key logger into his system. After that, he might just call you, just, just come, come over to my house, we'll have lunch together and we'll have fun together. And then he or she may ask that please uh, log in into your Facebook account and we'll just see the status and have some fun over Facebook. Now what you will do, you will go to your friend's house and put your user ID and password with the help of a keyboard. And then after you go from his house, your account details, that means your password will also be stored in the form of text file in, the, in his computer and then he will be able to hack your account. Okay, therefore, one solution for avoiding keyloggers is that whenever you use public computers, you should avoid using public computers as far as possible. But whenever you use public computer, it must be ensured that you are not using the physical keyboard. Okay, you should not use the physical keyboard. Rather, you should use the on-screen keyboard it is available in the operating system okay so remember this thing because using key loggers your password can also be stored in a text format key loggers run in the background so whenever you are entering data you will not be able to know that whether key loggers are installed or not because they generally run in the background the attacker persuades the victim to enter the login credentials which get stored as a text file. As I have already explained, your friend might call you to his house and he might install a key logger into his system and as you enter the password, your account details will be hacked by your friend. The attacker then logins into the victim's account and the login details are compromised. Okay, I think it is very clear with the, this one example that I give. So remember you should use on-screen keyboards while using public computers. There are certain rules which should be used for selecting good passwords. Let's see the rules one by one. So the first rule is no dictionary words, names, phone numbers and easily guessed words should be used. So you should not use dictionary words, you should not use names phone numbers or such words which can be easily guessable. Otherwise, you will be a victim of the strategy called password guessing. So let's give you some examples of passwords which should not be used. Apple. So Apple is a dictionary word. So it's used must be avoided. Delhi. So no, this is also a dictionary word and it is a common word. You may be victim of password guessing. So it should not be also used. 12345 this is also a very common password it should not be used let's come to the second rule what is the second rule no personal information in passwords that means you should not give your addresses phone number or some common things as your password which are related to your day-to-day -day life otherwise the unauthorized users may easily guess those things for example let's say you love your mom and dad so you can, you might want to keep the password as mom dad, but it is not a very good strategy because it is a very common password and the attacker may hack your profile using that. Let's say you love ice cream, so you can give the password as ice cream, but it is not a good strategy because it is a personal information. Next, 
let's say your name is Ishani and you want to give it as your password no it is also not recommended okay so always remember you should not give personal information in password use of longer passwords with the combination of uppercase alphabets lowercase alphabets digits and symbols is recommended so it is recommended that you use lowercase alphabets uppercase alphabets digits and symbols in your passwords so a password should generally be of eight characters remember these rules while selecting any password from now on you should ensure that if the website does not restrict also then also you should keep a minimum of eight characters in your passwords it should contain at least one capital letter alphabet at least one small letter alphabet at least one digit and at least one symbol only then it will be very very difficult for the attacker why i am saying that it will be very very difficult for the attacker because if you use all these combinations then brute force attack will not be possible because it will take months and months to crack your password so a common example of a good password would be at the rate of happiness 9 so here we have a capital letter small letters a number and a symbol also okay so this type of passwords are recommended next rule is use of passphrases to remember complex password let's say you do not want to give complex password and you want to give your name only as a password and it can be given it can be given but with a trick let's see what is the trick the name of the trick is called passphrase let's say your name is sangeeta so you should not give your name directly as a password but if you want to really keep your name as a password then you should keep it you may keep it in this format instead of s you can use the dollar symbol instead of a you can use the at the rate symbol so n can be used because small letter is necessary g can be used instead of i one can be used then t can be used and here a can be used and show that it becomes more secure you can give another one capital a at the end okay so this is called as a passphrase so with the help of this you will the password is easy also and it is difficult to crack also because you are using certain passphrases to remember your complex password so this is recommended instead of using the name directly next rule is do not repeat passwords on different website let's say you have an account in facebook and you have given this password fine this is a very very good password but let's say you have an account in instagram and you are giving the same password there but this is not recommended let's say you have a bank account also this is very dangerous and you are giving the same password in the bank account also so this is definitely not recommended even if it is a strong password you should not repeat passwords on different websites why because if one account is compromised then the attacker will be able to hack all your accounts and you will be in big trouble so this thing is not recommended so please remember do not repeat passwords on different websites next is do not enter passwords on public computers as far as possible so as far as possible i have already men mentioned it you should not enter passwords on public computers but if it is necessary if it is very necessary to enter password in public computers you should not use the physical keyboard instead you should use the on screen keyboard so that you can protect yourself from key lockers always use on screen keyboards for apps or apps for internet banking services to protect yourself from key lockers so it's recommended that for banking services you should use the authorized app of that particular bank or even if you are using net banking via the website you should check the web address and also you should not use the physical keyboard instead you should use the on screen keyboard that is available in every internet banking portals okay 
so remember this final points which i'm going to share never share with your passwords with anyone no matter how close they are okay no matter how close someone is to you you should not share your password because password is not something that should be shared think about your password like a toothbrush do you share your toothbrush with anyone no i hope you will you do not share no one shares so if you do not share your toothbrush with anyone you should treat your password as a toothbrush only single use okay i hope this session was useful to you i'll see you again in the next session thank you very much